Oh, Captain, my Captain, it's time for some trivia. Welcome to episode 130 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. In honor of what would have been his 70th birthday today, we're doing an entire episode about the life and works of that actor and comedian, Robin Williams. Mr. Williams was a personal favorite of mine and first comedy album I ever owned. It was Night at the Met, and no, my parents did not know I had it. Regardless, between his stand-up, his TV roles, and his movie performances, he was an icon that is still missed today. As always, we've got three rounds, ten questions each. A dorky round, a geeky round, and a nerdy round. Good luck, gang. Let's get started with the dorky round. Number one. Robin Williams recorded almost 16 hours of improvised audio for what Disney film? Aladdin. Number two, for what movie did Williams win his first and only Academy Award? Goodwill Hunting. Number three, in Mork and Mindy, who played Mindy? Pam Dauber. Jonathan Winters would play their son. Number four. His iconic character, Mork from Ork, first appeared on what TV show? Happy Days. Number five. Robin Williams, along with friend Billy Crystal, made a surprise cameo on what iconic 1990s TV show? Friends. Number 6. Williams played Alan Parrish, a man stuck inside a board game, in what 1995 movie? Jumanji. Number seven. Robin Williams played a man married to, then divorced from, Sally Field in what movie? Mrs. Doubtfire. Number eight. Williams voiced Batty Coda in what 1992 animated film? Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. Number 9. What 1997 movie is a remake of The Absent Minded Professor? Flubber. Number 10. In what 1991 movie did Robin Williams play a grown up Peter Pan? Hook. The Geeky Round. Number one. In what city was Robin Williams born? Chicago, Illinois. Number two. Williams played Rainbow Ralph in what 2002 movie? Death to Smoochie. Number 3. 1991's The Fisher King was directed by what Monty Python alum? (laughs) 
Terry Gilliam. It's also Gilliam's first movie to not feature any members of Monty Python. Number four. What movie featured Williams playing an android that slowly becomes a mortal human? Bicentennial Man. Number five. Williams began his stand-up career in what city? San Francisco, California. Number six. Williams returned to TV with what 2013 series? The Crazy Ones. Number seven. Williams plays Osric in what Kenneth Branagh film? Hamlet. Number eight. Nineteen ninety six's The Birdcage is a remake of what French film? La Cage à Faux. Number nine. What movie would get Williams his first Academy Award nomination? Good Morning Vietnam. He would be nominated a total of four times. Number ten. Robin Williams makes a cameo in what 1998 Bobby McFerrin video? Don't worry, be happy. The Nerdy Round, number one. What was the name of the character played by Williams in Dead Poet Society? John Keating. Number two. In 1980, Williams made his feature film debut with what movie? Popeye. Number three. Williams met and befriended Christopher Reeve while attending what school? The Juilliard School. Number four. Williams co-starred in what 2002 Christopher Nolan film? Insomnia. Number five. Ten years before Donald Trump would do it, Robin Williams played a celebrity who ran for president and won. In what movie? Man of the Year. Number six. What was Robin Williams' final on-screen role? Night at the Museum: Secret of the Tomb. Number seven. In two thousand thirteen, Williams played what U.S. president? Dwight D. Eisenhower in Lee Daniels' The Butler. Number eight. How many Grammy awards did Williams win over the course of his career? Five. His first in 1980. 
Number nine. Williams made his Broadway debut with what play? <laughs> Waiting for Godot in 1988. He starred opposite Steve Martin. Number 10. What was Robin Williams' middle name? McLaurin. It's his mother's maiden name. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed this very brief tour of an amazing man's life and works. I know my home library is chock full of his movies. I might go grab one for tonight. What's your favorite Robin Williams role? Share it with us on Facebook or Twitter. If I had to pick just one, I'd say Armand from The Birdcage. It's one of those rare roles where Williams gets to explore his entire range, but that's just me. We'll be back again next week with more trivia. Here's your clue for next week's show. What amusement park opened July 17, 1955? I'm starting to realize that my subconscious is trying to tell me to take a vacation. We'll see you back here next Wednesday. In the meantime, please take a moment to drop us a review on iTunes, Podchaser, or wherever you like. Even though we're 130 episodes in, we are still growing and reviews are a great way to spread the word. This has been the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The music has been by Jason Shaw at Audionautics.com. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. Thanks for listening and seize the day.